if you lift this, you can see this coming up. Right. Let's go down in there. You take the head off. Yes. And then just, now see, I'm only going in a little bit here. And then, now, right here, see? Yes. I can feel, so you can see that bone. Right. The knife is running, right? And then you lift this up, and you go down, then come in through the rib cage, and go down. And then when you come up here, yeah, and then you just kind of snap those bones. Yeah, you, it's, you don't, yeah, and then you can get in here and then just roll your knife. Yeah, you can watch too, so you can learn. Yeah, I want to learn. And then this side, and then this side's the same thing. You just go in a little bit. You're a good teacher, Ali. And then, and then, uh, now I can feel that, I can feel that backbone. See here, I'm opening it and I'm just going over it. Just a little bit. And then you can. Okay, bye, Frank. You see there, it's opened up. And you go through here. And it's just the reverse. I've cracked open. See, when you hold it up like this, when you're cracking, you're actually starting to go down that rib cage. And then just roll. And this here, you've seen the other one I had a little bit of trouble with. This is like uh, where he goes to the bathroom. You take and you just cut that. When you go to do your skinning, and don't, don't, don't hold your fillet like this. Right. Or you're going to cut through the skin. You have to hold your fillet flat. Or your skin. And just kind of like a scissor action. Sure. There's no meat left on the skin. And see, I really didn't rip. Exactly. I didn't rip it like I did the last time there. Thank you, Eileen. Oh, you're welcome.